reinstalling Windows 10 for Lenovo laptops. All you'll need is your laptop, the laptop's charger, and a USB that's at least 8GB. If you would like to follow our written guide at the same time, or for clickable links we reference, the link to our blog that this video is based off of is in the description. If you find guides like this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Part 1. Download what you'll need. Start by downloading Microsoft's free Windows 10 Installation Media Creation Tool. Insert your USB and run the program. Follow the instructions on screen for the program and either change any settings you need or want to change, or leave the recommended defaults as they are. Check to see whether you have an NVIDIA graphics card in your system, either through Task Manager's Performance tab, which can be found by right-clicking the taskbar, or by checking your laptop spec online. If your laptop does have NVIDIA graphics and not just the integrated GPU, go to NVIDIA's website and search for your model of GPU and download the drivers to a new folder on your USB. This folder can be called anything so long as it does not conflict with existing files. For example, a GT730M's drivers would be found under GeForce, GeForce 700M series, GeForce GT730M. Download the Wi-Fi drivers as well, as some laptops may not have compatible drivers once Windows is reinstalled, and you'll be unable to connect to the internet without them. Part 2. Back up all your data. When reinstalling Windows, you'll lose any data you had on the boot drive of the system, so it's important that any data you want to keep is backed up beforehand. You can either do this with an external local drive, whether this is an external hard drive, another USB stick, or through a free cloud storage solution. We won't make any recommendations as practicality will change per person. Just ensure that any data you want to keep is safely secure off of your system before continuing. Part 3. Power and BIOS Reset. Turn off your laptop. Plug in your charger and turn your laptop back on again. If you receive a message stating that your charger is the incorrect wattage, we recommend using a different charger to check if your charger is an inadequate wattage. Next, remove the charger from the laptop and the battery as well if possible. Turn on your laptop and turn it off again by holding down the power button. Do not shut down from Windows. Turn the laptop back on and press the enter key repeatedly. Follow on-screen instructions to enter the BIOS. This is usually the F1 key. Once in the BIOS, press F9 to load default settings, then navigate to restart, exit saving changes. Once you have exited the BIOS, allow the system to reboot. If it has rebooted as normal, wait 20 seconds and shut down the system, and reinsert the battery. This can help improve the stability of some systems. Part 4. Configuring the BIOS before we configure settings in the BIOS, you need to know what to change them to. There are two main options, Legacy and UEFI. As a general rule, Legacy is for older hardware and UEFI is for newer hardware. In some cases, new hardware may only run in UEFI mode. So if Legacy mode doesn't work for installing Windows on your system, try UEFI. Legacy tends to be more stable, so especially with older hardware, we recommend using Legacy first if possible, though newer systems may require UEFI, especially if you intend to upgrade to Windows 11. We'll start with Legacy. Turn the laptop on and press the Enter key repeatedly. Follow on-screen instructions to enter the BIOS. This is usually the F1 key. Start by ensuring Secure Boot is disabled. In Security, Secure Boot, and set to Disabled. Next, go to Startup and change UEFI Legacy Boot to either Legacy Only or both. If set to both, ensure UEFI Legacy Boot Priority is set to Legacy first. Next, go to Startup, Boot and ensure your boot drive is at the top of the list. Then go to Restart and Exit Saving Changes or press F10. For UEFI, Start with Startup and ensure UEFI Legacy Boot is set to UEFI only. Next, go to Security, Secure Boot and enable Secure Boot. Accept the additional box if prompted. Lastly, Startup, Boot and ensure your boot drive is at the top of the list. Then, Restart, Exit Saving Changes or press F10. Part 5. Install Windows. With your laptop turned off, Insert the Windows installation USB you created. Turn your laptop on and press F12 repeatedly to open the boot menu. From here, you can select which device you want to boot from. Select the name of your USB. Once booted into the install software, it should be fairly simple to follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. If prompted, select the same version of Windows as previously, whether that's Home or Pro. 
When given the option to select which disk, make sure to erase all partitions of the disk that currently has Windows 10 installed. Then select the empty volume of the disk and select New. Partitions will be created on the boot disk. Once they are, select the unallocated space remaining on the drive and click Next. And Windows will begin being installed. Once it's done, your system will restart and you should boot into Windows. If you reboot into the Windows installer again, make sure to remove the USB from the system. Part 6. Setting up Windows. Move on to installing Lenovo Vantage. It can be downloaded for free from the Microsoft Store and does not require a Microsoft account if you aren't logged in. Once it has installed, choose how you plan to use the machine and select the Updates section. Download all of the available updates and restart if prompted. Open Windows Device Manager by searching for Device Manager in the Windows search bar or holding the Windows key and pressing X and then selecting Device Manager from the list. If there are still devices without drivers in Device Manager, Go to Lenovo's website and search for your model of laptop, and manually download any remaining drivers. If you check Device Manager and there are no devices missing drivers, then your system has been successfully set up and is ready to use. 